fetal development month by month. Month one, weeks one through four. The baby begins its journey as a fertilized egg. As it grows, a watertight sac, which is slowly filled with fluid, called the amniotic sac, is formed around it. This acts as a cushion for the growing embryo. Simultaneously, the placenta, a round and flat organ that gives nutrients from the mother to the baby and also transfers waste from the baby, is also developed. In the first few weeks, large dark circles for eyes, a mouth, lower jaw and throat are developed over a very primitive face. Blood cells also start taking shape, so the blood starts circulating throughout the tiny heart tube by the end of the fourth week. The heart will be beating 65 times per minute at this time. By the end of the fourth week, you'll see that the baby is smaller than a grain of rice, approximately a quarter inch long. Month 2, weeks 5 through 8. In month 2, the baby's facial features will continue to develop with the ear beginning as a small fold of skin at the side of the head. Tiny buds for arms and legs, fingers, toes, and more defined eyes also start forming. Other than the face, your baby's neural tube, i.e. the brain, spinal cord, and other neural tissues of the CNS also become well-formed. The baby's digestive tract and sensory organs also develop while the bone starts to replace the cartilages. The baby's head is now larger in proportion to the rest of the body, and at six weeks, your baby's heartbeat can be detected. In the eighth week, your baby is officially called a fetus. As the second month ends, your baby is about one inch long and weighs about one thirtieth of an ounce. Month three, weeks nine through 12. At this stage of pregnancy, the hands, fingers, feet, and toes of the baby are fully formed, and the baby's now beginning to explore his new appendages by opening and closing his fists and mouth. The fingernails, toenails, external ears, and teeth also begin to form along with the baby's reproductive organs. Although distinguishing gender is difficult at this point, by the end of this month, the baby is fully formed and all his organs and limbs are accounted for. The baby's circulatory and urinary systems are also working and the liver produces bile. By the end of the third month, your baby is about four inches long and weighs about one ounce. This is also the month where the threat of miscarriage seriously drops as most of the critical development of the baby is finished. Month four, weeks 13 through 16. This is the month where you can hear your baby's heartbeat through a Doppler. The fingers, toes, eyelids, eyebrows, eyelashes, hair, nails, genitalia, and the reproductive system are now fully formed, while teeth and bones become denser. In some ultrasounds, you'll find the baby making faces, sucking his thumb, yawning, or stretching. The nervous system begins to function, and the sex of the baby can be seen through ultrasound. By the end of the fourth month, your baby is about six inches long and weighs about four ounces. Month five, weeks 17 through 20. In this month, you'll start to feel your baby in your tummy as your baby's developed his muscles and is now exercising them. That first flutter-like movement you feel is called a quickening. The hair on the baby's head begins to grow. The shoulders, back, and temples are covered by a soft, fine hair called lanugo that protects your baby and is usually shed at the end of the baby's first week of life. In this month, the baby's skin is covered with vernix caseosa, a whitish coating like a cheesy substance that protects the baby's skin from overexposure to amniotic fluid. This coating is shed before birth. By the end of the fifth month, your baby's about 10 inches long and weighs about a half to one pound. Month six, weeks 21 through 24. In this month, your baby's skin is reddish. The baby is all wrinkles and veins being shown through its translucent skin. The fingers and toe prints are visible in this month, and the eyelids begin to part and open as well. This also leads to the baby responding to sounds by moving or increasing the pulse rate. You might even notice hiccups or jerking movements. If the baby's born in this month, he might be able to survive after the 23rd week with intensive care. By the end of this month, your baby is about 12 inches long and weighs about 2 pounds. Month 7, weeks 25 through 28. The baby continues to mature and develop body fat. The hearing is also fully developed, and the baby responds to outside stimuli like pain, sounds, and light. 
If the baby's born prematurely, then he's likely to survive. By the end of this month, your baby's about 14 inches long and weighs from 2 to 4 pounds. Month 8, weeks 29 through 32. This month, you may notice that the baby is kicking more often. The baby's getting healthier day by day. He's developing more body fat and the brain is developing rapidly. Most internal systems are developed, but the lungs may still be immature. Your baby can see and hear everything and is now about 18 inches long and weighs as much as 5 pounds. Month 9, weeks 33 through 36. In this stage, the lungs are almost fully developed and the reflexes are coordinated. This means that the baby can blink, close their eyes, turn their head, grasp firmly and respond to sounds, light and touch.